Today I show you how you convert hair mesh to particle hair. Okay, enough fun. As you can see, left is hair mesh, right is particle hair. Let's get started. And to pull this off, we need two add ons. To the left, the one from Stan Pancakes and Hairnet. Links in the description below. First, we go to Stan Pancakes add on. Thank you very much for writing this. Then we copy the content over here, just select it, copy it into the cage, and yeah, just create a new empty text file. Just name it like whoever you want, so you can find it again. Just make sure to change the ending to PY, so Python. And that's normal copy paste, just open it up in an editor and paste the code. Save it and now you can gonna install it in Blender like you normally do. For this tutorial I will use this hair mesh which I purchased on CD Trader. And the good thing with this one is it's already all quads. So no triangles in here. There are a few problems but I will show how to fix them. So it's pretty simple and later I upload videos how you can easily convert hair mesh which has hair planes with triangles and everything else too. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do, I just fix some clipping issues. You should do this always first, since it's easier than later on combing any kind of particles. So this is basic stuff again, and I hope you already know how to do this. This is proportional editing, which I use, but this is all about hair, okay. Since I already worked with this hair model, um, I know there are some issues like double planes, double faces, and I will show a few tricks I use to simply fix this, since you have many planes here. So as you can see here, um, there are some fa loose faces on it and they are not matched together. So if I select the one to the right, you see the left side is not connected and I want to that it goes yeah, completely through. Okay, let's get started. Now my workflow is that I enable X-ray and then I use circular edit and mark all the planes where I know that there are no double faces basically. Then on the keyboard, after I selected them with circle select, I just press Ctrl and numpad plus and I repeat this key combo until all selected and then I can just hide them and now I have way less hair which is disturbing me and it gets easier to pick out the ones which have problems so now we have all those faulty like here you have the double faces and how I fix it I go to vertices select use the circle select tool and yeah mark those vertices which are on the same spot press Control numpad plus so I've get exactly both planes which are exactly inside of each other and they're fully selected mesh clean up and merge by distance as you can see now it's fixed no more double faces on this one and I can hide it and now I repeat this process with the other one so yeah just select this one just select the vertices Control numpad plus and yes Okay, and now we are a step further. And as you can see, we have the problem with the split geometry. Let me take off proportional editing. So this is a single phase and yeah, I want to merge it together with the plane, this one, so that they are connected again. And I do this with face select and yeah, this is a little bit more difficult since you have to make sure you don't accidentally select the face from yeah, the hair mesh in front, so just be a little bit accurate, but it's still possible on this one. So I just select them. And what I do now, I just merge them again. So mesh, clean up and merge by distance. And if I press shift plus N, I can recalculate the normals. If it looks weird, probably because the normals are broken. Okay, let's go to the next step. So if I select this one again, as you can see, this is one plane now. 
and I repeat this process again. So this one is much easier, just circle select, mesh, clean up, merge by distance. So pretty easy to fix. And now it's one single plane again, and they are not split it, which is very good. Okay. And the reason why we need stand pancakes add-on, um, as you can see, I have two planes and they have both 144 faces. I know this because I checked it up before. So if I select this one, um, both of them have 144, so it's 288 now. And the problem is that Blender don't have a function to select all planes with the same face count. So if I go to select, select similar, and I would um, choose face regions for example which should do a similar thing um, it looks at first good but if you check it manually so if I deselect all of it um, you will see that only this one has 152 faces and not 144 like the first ones we selected and this is where stand pancakes add-on comes in handy because it does what it should do it selects all planes with the same number of faces. First I will show you what will happen if the face count doesn't match. So we have two planes and one has 144 faces, the other one has 152. So the first thing that I have to do is to tell Hernet where the roots will be. So I just select the outer edges of each plane. Then I right click and I will mark the scene here. And this will tell Hamnet where the particle roots will be, so the roots of the hair. Before we use Hamnet, we have to apply all the transforms of those two planes first. So it's pretty easy. Make sure they are selected and then press Ctrl A. So just select them, Ctrl A and all transforms. And now we have the hair selected, then select the mesh, and then we can use hairnet. So I opened up here on the right side and add hair from sheets. And now you see we have hair everywhere on the whole body. To fix it, just remove this particle system and we are good to go. Now I show you stand pancakes add on. So I just press L here, so select the whole plane. And then I search for face islands. And then you have select islands by face count. And if I select this, it automatically selects all the planes with the same face count. And you will have no problems with Hernet. Let me do it here. So we have a different result. As you can see, these have all the same face count. And we can easily separate them. So press P, selection. Okay, and all those planes have the same amount of faces, so I just go to edit mode and mark the seams again. As you can see, I've selected all the edges where the hair root shall be. And now, apply all transforms, select the hair, then the target mesh and use add hair from sheets. And now I do this and you will notice that the eyelashes break. And there's a reason for this and I will show this to you now so it doesn't happen to you as well. Okay, this is very important and since she has a subdivision modifier and I've activated Simplify so my viewport is faster since all subdivision modifiers are deactivated since max subdivision is zero. I have to disable it so the subdivision is activated again like this. As you can see, it's not red anymore, it's activated. And now I do the same. Select the hair first, then the target mesh and add hair from sheets. And as you can see, the eyelashes will remain. And to fix this weird result with the hair which just got created from hairnet, um, we just go to the particle system. As you can see, the eyelashes remain. So just let me hide those hairs so it doesn't distract us. Now I go to the particle system and then I go down to viewport display and increase the strand steps. As you can see we are almost finished. 
And first what we're gonna do, we have to disconnect the hair. If we don't do that, and if I pose her now, as you can see, only a few hair strands move with her, but the rest is staying static. And to fix that, we have to do another thing. So, as you can see here, if I go back, um, only a few strands moved, but the rest not. So we have to disconnect the hair first. So let me go to object mode, back to the particular system, disconnect, connect, and Blender will automatically put the roots now onto her head. And this issue is fixed as well. And now we can start tweaking so we can add more child particles. So we have a more dense hair and we see actually how it would look roundabout in the render. We can change the radius, the roughness, everything. And that's basically it. Okay, let's proceed with the tips. Tip number one, um, I would always create a new collection and I call it her converted. I disable it for the render, so all the stuff I put inside won't get rendered. And I will put inside those hair planes which I separated. So to do this and then I don't have to disable the render for by hand for every single plane. Just press M when you have selected it and just move it inside the hair converted. And now it won't get rendered and I can disable those for the viewport as well. Tip number two and stamp pancakes. Huge thanks again. Added another feature to the add-on and it can automatically separate all planes with the same face count automatically. So all you gotta do is press F3 and then you type separate and you see separate by face count. What it does, all the planes with the same face counts get separated. So now the whole hair model is separated and all the planes which have the same face count are still together. So you see these three planes, they have all the same face count. Exactly what we need to easily convert them with hairnet. So let me disable all of those to show you. And I select the face, 136 faces this plane has and this plane has 136 as well, as well as this one. So they have all 136 faces, I already marked all those edges as seams and now I just apply it, mark the head mesh and hair from sheets and now I, it creates a second particle system and now it's already done. And now we can do the same, just increase the strand steps for the viewport so we have a better, we can better imagine how it will later look like in the render. I can increase the display amount, for example. And since it's a second particle hair system, it doesn't affect the first one. So if I change the amount of the hair on the second one, the first one stays unaffected. And now here I can just tweak the radius and everything else. Okay, okay, I hope this tutorial helps you if you use hairnet and easily want to, yeah, convert hair plane mesh into real particle hair. And I think it looks much better if you do that. And yeah, the results speak for themselves. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped you. If you have questions, just ask them in the comments.